Are we live? I'm doing it a different way. I don't know if we're live. You got to let me know in the chat if we're live. Yo, yo! What's happening? Give me a one, or give me a five by five if we're live. Five by five. Jack says, yeah. Oh baby, we're live. Okay, yeah, I did it a different way today with the scheduling of the stream. I've done that before, but it didn't really work out too well in the past. Like the, the stream got really glitchy and it would uh, you know, like the spinning wheel of death would pop up. So if this works, we can do this more often because I like scheduling it. But there's a couple extra steps behind the scene you gotta you gotta do to get started. All right, good, good, good. Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, can you smell it? it smells like MLB playoffs to me. Mmm. <laughs> Padres looking good. Got a little bet down. So before the playoffs started, the Padres were eight and a half to one. This was just a few days ago. And I was looking at that bet going, man, what do I do? What do I do with it? Do I, I, I mean, you know, you could just put like 20 bucks on it and who cares, right? But if you go a little bigger, you can get a big payday. Well, guess what? Today I looked at the odds, they were 10 to one. So hundred bucks equals a thousand. I like the sounds of that. Do you think they have that good of a... I mean, everybody knows that the Dodgers are loaded and they're packed and they're stacked and the Padres have to get through the Dodgers in order to become world champions. But anything can happen. Anything and everything. Have you guys checked out the bracket, by the way? It's looking pretty gnarly. A lot of teams. This is going to be something new. We got, we got Tampa Bay and Tampa Bay against Toronto. As much as I love Bo and as much as I love my Blue Jays, I can't. I, oh, Tampa Bay's just too good. They do it all. So, I don't know, man. What's up, everybody? Picked up a Trent Grisham Stadium Club Auto. Awesome. Probably got a pretty good deal on it. I think they were around 20 bucks when I was looking. Donnie West, formerly known Redskins fan forever. What's up, man? Yeah, experience. Experience goes a long way, but I don't know. I mean, like those Marlins teams that they just kind of threw together, they're, they were undefeated. They've never lost a playoff series. So they did have veterans, though. They had, they had a, a good arrange of, arrangement of veterans. Nate and Noah Trick Shots, today is my one year anniversary of collecting baseball cards. Well, congratulations. Happy anniversary. Come down to earth a little bit. All right, well, I mean, I'm going to get going a little bit, but I thought we'd just chat for a little while, talk about the playoffs. Nicholas says, go Brewers. What's up, Tom? Go Jays. We're going to upset. I'd like to see it. I'll tell you the truth. Nothing against Tampa Bay, but I, I would love to see the Jays pull that off. I just I don't think they're pitching and is good enough and I don't know they, they they're so young. Jack Van Corn shout out there you go bud. You got a Tatis one of one target subset. Wow, nice Mike. Baseball card analysis. My SGC order ships today after waiting since May twenty sixth. Well, I'll tell you what, buddy. I've been waiting on this since February, and it just came in the mail today. So, here we are. I've been licking my chops for like, I don't know, what has it been, like six months now? March, April, May, June, July, August, seven months? Oh my gosh. I don't even remember what cards are in here. I had to, I had to print out my, my list and go back and look. But that's why we're doing it blind, because it's going to be exciting. I mean, you guys are going to get my real emotions out of this. I, I, there could be some real busts. There, they could all be tense. I highly doubt that. 
I, I kind of figured there might be a few nines, but I tried to submit only things that had the chance to be a 10. And this is my first ever order, my first ever PSA. Do I remember Don West on HSN Late Night? If that's TV, then no. I don't watch TV. Maybe like a game, like ball games is the extent of the TV. Lots of Tatis indeed, Anthony. Lots of Tatis rookies in here. And if they're graded tens, whoo, baby. <laughs> you know, I mean, I sent them in that long ago. And since then, they've like doubled in price or triple. I don't even know. They've gone up a lot. But there should be a nice selection of Tatis in here. Oh, I sent my Kobe's in too. I got a nice little batch of Kobe rookies that I sent in. So that ought to be interesting. Because some of those are bangers. Some of, like, the Bowman's Best, that, uh, the Bowman's Best at PSA 10 is like a $1,000 card. And I picked it up for way less than that. Way, way less. Packrat, what's up? Don West from Lost in Space. I mean, the name is familiar, Don West. Not Adam West, but. <laughs> what's up, Christopher E.? Uh, Mike, I mean, if you want to give it up for free, that's cool, but I'm not going to be buying it. If you want to send it friend mail, you got something to promote, I'm happy to do that, but not really in the market right now. Maybe sometime soon. It depends on how this goes. We'll have to see. So back to the playoffs. Cleveland and New York. That's going to be a fun series. I can't wait for that. The Cleveland pitching is crazy. Bieber with the triple crown. Wins, ERA, and strikeouts. I mean, Bieber's off the charts. And it's going to be Bieber Cole in the first game. Can you guys believe that? Yeah, the Bowman's best Kobe's wicked expensive. I got a couple others in there, too, that are really nice. Um, the medallion, you know, that I, th I think it's Fleer Ultra. Had the gold medallions. I have two of those. So, I mean, the Kobe's, I don't, they're so, you know, that's from a long time ago. I don't know what those are going to grade out as. But they looked pretty nice. I'm hoping to get at least a nine out of those. Next up, Twins and Astros. Does anybody else think the Astros have been just taking it really easy and flying under the radar so nobody talks about them and nobody cares and nobody notices and and then all of a sudden bang we're in the playoffs and the Astros explode their team's not that much different than a, their championship team I mean okay they don't have Verlander that's a big deal they don't have Cole that's a big deal but their pitching's been good it's been solid for the most part I mean Javier and that other guy who's who's the other one I always forget the other one Christian Javier and the other guy. Whatever, he's good. They were both on my fantasy team. Oh, by the way, guess who's the world champion fantasy baseball player? I won the fantasy baseball league that I've been in for a long time. And it was a tough battle, man. Let me tell you, the dude I went up against, he's got a great team and he knows a lot about baseball. So the fact that I barely pulled it off and beat him came down to the wire man it came down to me picking up brady singer off the waivers and having him crush my tigers i was torn between him and montas but you guys saw what montas did it was like the very last day waiver pickup i needed it i needed the win to go one ahead and wins and to seal the deal otherwise it would have been a tie and i think he might have won the tiebreaker but i don't know for sure valdez framber Yes, Framber Harrison. It's Framber Valdez. Yeah, let's get this party started. I know. So I'm going to give away the second clue, the second word. It's actually two words today, sometime in the middle of this. But I got a bill hook ready to rip. The anticipation. Old Tommy Eshelman sitting right here, ready to go. Should I give it a soak? A good luck soak with Trevor Claus? I found out who this was from, by the way. It was from Cubby. Thank you, Cubby. He sent so many awesome cards that this one got lost in the mix, but the Trevor Bauer to 50 has been has been good. So I'm going to give it the, the good luck Trevor Claus soak and hope that that can bring me some 10s, baby. 
Let's go! I don't know if this one's gonna... Oh, okay, that'll go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here, let me lift this up. In case you guys are new to this, which I am, so this is what we're looking at. We're looking at a bunch of these. I don't know if it was packed this way from PSA or Dustin. I got this. This was done in a group submission through Dustin Bellinger, whom I found out about through Filmington. I watched Filmington do one and I was impressed. So here we are. Where to start? Should we start it? I don't even know. What's a good percentage rate? A mess of things. Welcome, my friend. Um, I would be happy with like 50% tens. I don't know. I don't even know what to expect. Like I, I expect there to be 90% tens, but I don't know if that's realistic. I don't know what to expect. So like if half of them are tens, I'd be like, I'd be pretty happy with that. But I kind of expect more. How should I do this? Like cover up the grade? I don't know where the, okay, these are all back, backwards. Upside down, rather. <laughs> Did you see it? Tipo, you use Dusty Baker. Sweet. <laughs> all right. One second, my dog's barking, and my daughter thinks there's an intruder in the house, so I just have to calm her nerves. One sec. Look, all good. intruders no intruders <laughs> all right here we go baby this is a pretty nice one to start out with it's a Juan Soto and it's a PSA 9 so I see a tiny little dot up there I, I don't know maybe that's what did it tiny little back on that corner that might be what did it so close though I feel like I could just take my thumb and go like that and it would be good to go but that's not too bad I'll take a nine nines and tens you know what I mean all good eights not so good but it's not bad it's a great like collector's grade an eight you know you can afford it still. It's just basically like a raw card. Well, you guys know this one. You guys know who that is. Come on, baby. It's a big one. First of all, let's just double check. It looks, oh man. A nine. A nine. Yeah, nine is definitely more than raw. Cause you got a mint card. You know, with these cards, when I opened them out of the pack, I was like, I just, I don't know if I even soft sleeved them. Cause it was, you know, back a while ago. But I got another one, no worries. Maybe this one will be better. 
Yeah, it's very clean. That could be a 10. I don't know what's wrong with it. Whatever. You can always resubmit too, if you're not happy. Another one. All right, let's look at the corners. Sharp. Everything looks good. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. Got a 10. Boom, 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 boom. Acuna. Gem mint, baby. Stand worthy. Jeff, what's up, man? First time being at a live stream. I love to have you. I appreciate all you being here. This is fun. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. We got another Acuna rookie. I, I can't remember. I think these were these. This is the last one. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's check out the corners. The corners look good. Look sharp. Everything is awesome. Come on, another ten. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Two for the price of one, baby. Put him on the stand with his brother. His twin brother. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is the best. This is the best time I've ever had, I think. <laughs> okay, everybody knows Will Smith. Dodgers catcher. Crushing. Oh, there's a little white speck on that corner. So that's not going to be a 10. But... Are they going to go down to an 8 or is that a 9 still? Or a 7 even. That's enough to take it down to a 7 apparently. That little bit of white up there. Oh, alright. This one was a questionable one. I threw it in there because I like Will Smith. Can't all be winners. How about a Chris Paddock? My boy. This one was a gift from Cheryl. I believe. Yes, it was from Cheryl. Chris Paddock. Sapphire. Can only be a 10. Am I right? These sapphires? They're just so glorious. That's what I'm talking about. Can only be a 10. Chris Paddock. If you're gonna have a true rookie from somebody, might as well be a Sapphire. Let's go, baby. Keep the tens rolling. You pulled a gold refractor of Smith from Chrome. Oh, that's a nice one, number to 50. A mess of things says, I guess since they make money, if more cards are sent, they don't want it to be too easy for people to identify flaws before sending in. Hmm. Did I take a pick of cards before sending them and compare them to the now picks? No. But you know what I did is I did a stream where I showed everybody the cards I was sending in. So we could go back and check that. So this one is pretty much all about the centering. How centered do you think it is? I think this is like a high number, or, right? I can't remember exactly, look at SP maybe, or high number. It's a nine, or is it just a regular card? Did I just send a regular Acuna cup card in there? 500, I may have, I may have. <laughs> so I don't really know. I think I might have added a few just to like put in here. So far, we've got, should I, I should just put all the tens up here, eh? Put Paddock right there. We got three tens, so roughly half. Glaber, rookie. Not having the greatest year, but looks very centered. I don't see anything wrong with this. No reason not to be a 10, but they say it's a nine. Okay. Why? Uh, the back, maybe that tiny little touch on the back corner. Okay. 
I'm learning, we're all learning what it takes. Because I was told that it doesn't matter if there's a tiny little bit of white on a corner, if it's everything's still sharp, you can still get a 10. I, I didn't believe it, but we're finding that's not true. How many? I got a hundo, Brandon. Austin Meadows, rookie. Uh, once again, front looks pretty flawless. There's a 10. I'll take that. Austin Meadows for the Pirates. Nice little gem. Put him, put him back with the paddock. All right, now here's a Verdugo, Chrome. So these ones, I mean, unless it has a scratch, pretty much, I'm, it, it can be grade worthy trading cards, right? It can be slightly off, just slight, like just slightly though. So Verdugo, Chrome, unless there's scratches, should be good. Cause I mean, how do you tell if it's centered or not, but. We got another gem. Let's go, baby. Beauty. Keeping it going. When was this sent in 101? This was sent in in February. And I got it in the mail today. And here we are. Devers. Little 83 rookie. No reason not to be. Although now I'm looking at it. Mm, looks a little OC. But it's not. It's a 10. Woohoo! My, my radar's up now. I'm just like, if it's even slightly off, they're going to mark it. I mean, you know, there's a lot of these aren't like crazy expensive cards, but Devers is the man, and there it is. Another Soto rookie. Got to get a 10. Got to get a 10 here. Another looking at the corners real quick. Just checking the corners. They look grand. Let's go back here. Perfect, 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 perfect. Everything looks great. This has got to be a 10. Come on, baby. Yes. Yeah, baby. Mm. That's what I like to see right there. Put them in. Put them in the stack. Changing it up a little bit. These are all baseball except for a few of those Kobe basketball cards. Oh, come on. Sports kids, what's up? Okay, so this is a Riley Green speckle, which I love. At, at this point, where they calling them speckles or sparkles? They keep changing that up, but we'll probably find out. These ones are tough to figure out the centering, for me, at least, because it, like you, you flip it over to the back and it looks different. So it looks a little OC, like that right there, left or right. We'll have to find out. My boy, Riley Green, come on, give me a 10. Yes, sir. Cha-ching! Riley, the future of the Tigers. Chrome with bat, sparkles refractor. So they're calling that a sparkles. <laughs> Did someone ban that guy? Uru Kosh. Like, there. And you're banned for life. Got a refractor now. The regular refractor, these ones aren't numbered. But I only got one. It's a 10. Woo! Look at that beauty. Look at it glisten. Riley. Yeah. Oh, forgot to cover that one up. But that's what I like to see. Sparkles Auto, Joshua Mears. Who's Joshua Mears? Well, he was a early second round pick for the Padres and he's young and he's big and I'm just loving him. Hopefully he gets called up and he can play. Sometime soon, he's so young, it might be a couple years though. Another 10. All the 10s are going up here. Now we're at more than half. 
Yes, it's a, it, we're on a great roll. What up, Z? Nice to see ya. Cost to get all these graded, 950 bucks for 100 cards. Or, or was it 950? Yeah, I think it was 950. Plus some extra shipping, so just say right around a grand. About 10 bucks a piece. And that was because I sent it through a third party and he charges like a buck a card or something, which is fine. Just to take care of everything on his end. Bryson Scott, this is a blue shimmer to 150, blue wave. It's a 10. I don't know. This was just one I pulled out of a pack, I think. So I figured might as well send it. I don't really know a lot about him other than he's a high pick. Uh, he's a little older than I would like, but he's 6'3", 200, shortstop. Just why not get her graded? Okay, this is an important one. I hope this one grades out well because this is a... This was a pretty pricey one. This is a true refractor right here. True blue. True blue, baby. 50 of 150. Corbin Carroll, my guy, out of this draft. I have like 10 guys out of this draft, okay? So you're going to hear that a lot. True blue Corbin Carroll. I need it. I need it. That's what I need. <laughs> yes. I told you. I didn't send it in... In 99% of the cases, unless I thought it was head potential to get a 10. Woo! Corbin Carroll, True Blue, Bowman first, on card auto. Tyler Baum, here's the story behind this one. I think I bought this for like five bucks. It was so cheap. I, I don't even, maybe 10 bucks. I don't remember. It was really, really cheap. And I thought, eh, first. Auto, blue, uh, let's, let's just do it. And it's a 10. And because it was a 10, and I knew, deep in my heart. Garrett Whitlock. Garrett Whitlock, checking the boxes, right? Yankee, check. First, check. True blue, on card auto, check. It's a 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Look at that. He, he's a late pick right there, but I just, it's a Yankee. So let's get it graded. Guys, it's stacking up. It's looking nice. It's looking nice. Good pitching prospect. Yeah. First Bowman Madness is right. Dragon wanting that Riley. Hands off my Riley, Dragon. That's a, that's a that's a PC card right there, brother. And a top's finest, Kristen Yelich. I don't need an explanation. It's a blue. I love the blues. It's just a beautiful card. And it's a gem mint ten. You know, you don't need to say much about Mr. Yelich. Proof is in the pudding. Okay, so box one, where are we at? We're at two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 out of 20. Nice rate right there. Another box, another stack of tens. I think I'm gonna clear the stage. This is exciting incredibly exciting clearing the stage box number two come on baby that's right just the way we like it pack job all right now we're getting into some newer stuff I sent in some Yordans and some bows so there might be some redundancy here never know 
Let's just get a real quick peek and then we'll look. Corners, corners, looking good. Corners looking good and a gem. Just like that. Stack them up, baby. We're gonna, we're gonna get a Yordan stack going right there. I know he's not playing. I know he's an Astro, but I like him. I like the power. Hopefully he's not one of those injury guys. What's up, Bolt? Here we go. Another 10. That's how we roll. Gotta get to that 90% rate. And just a, a regular old 85. But it looks centered, so. And it looks sharp, so. Oh, it's just a nine. They had to throw a nine in there, didn't they? And what's wrong with this one? Nothing. That I, if they if they call that, I can't even see that. All right, had to get a nine out of the way. They can't all be tens, can they? A turkey Yordan. A turkey Yordan. I'm. I don't know. Does it look centered to you? It looks pretty centered to me. Let's just see. Bottom corner. Are we talking about that one? Yeah, I guess. I guess. So are they gonna, like if you, I can't tell. It's a 10, that's what I thought. Standalone Turkey Yordan. Cause I like it. Let's go. We've got a gold Nico coming up here. Even a speck. Yeah, any white nowadays gets you nine. I guess it should. Like if I'm thinking about it unbiased, I think that it should be a, a, a legitimately perfect card to get a 10. You see a speck of white, shouldn't get a 10. Is there a speck? There's the smallest speck on this. I don't know if. I don't know. It looks like it could be a 10. But it might be a nine. It's a nine, okay, yeah, they counted the speck. The, the microscopic speck. Kinda glad they did. Or, oh, there's a little, there's a little, tiny little white down there too. All right, I, I love this. Learning, learning. What's a PSA 100? Well, uh, there's 100 cards. What, it's a PSA 100 card live reveal. Okay, the Gavin Lux Silver Pack rookie. Gotta be a 10, right? I mean, these cards are just, they're thick, they're glossy, they're sharp. It's a 10. Boom! You think all yours are 10s? Yeah. I think these are all, I thought these were all, most of them at least, like 99% of them were gonna be tens. And I think we're at more like, what, 80%? Slightly higher. Regular Lux. Quick corner check. No white. No white. Gotta be a 10. Come on, baby, let's go. It's a 10. Okay, PSA versus BGS. Um, I like how Beckett gives you the subgrades. So if you've got a real high-end card, I think that's the way you want to go, if it's perfect. But if you're just doing like, these are all, you know, none of these are like over a thousand dollars, especially any of the ones you've seen so far. So if you got them and they're in the hundred dollar range or less, I think just PSA bulk is the way to go. But if you got a real banger, then you might want to just send it to Beckett to get those subgrades. How about how about a bow that I forgot to cover up? Looking at the corners, everything's grand. The bow show, baby. Got a few more of those too. A few more, baby. Did you miss Tatis? Have, uh, we haven't found him yet. 
So he's in one of these boxes. We'll just flow through these. We'll check the corners real quick. That seems to be the biggest giveaway. Corners look dank. 10. Another one. Oh, then there's a Tatis coming up. Double checking the corners. Oh, this one might be a nine. I see a tiny speck of white. It's a nine. Yep. All right, put them in the nine pile. We got three nines out of this batch so far, but I'll take a nine if I have to. Smash that like, brothers and sisters. Hook it up if you're having a good time. Okay, okay. This one looks, this one looks pretty good. It's a nine though, yep, because they're just the, can you see up top there? Just a little bit of something, just, just barely white. But everything else is perfect. Like this one probably would be a nine five through Beckett. Oh, this is a big one. Roan Bear. Is Roan Bear in the house? He sent me this card as a gift. And I just wanted to get it encased in here. I didn't know what the grade would be, but I wanted to get it protected. Cunha Jr. Bowman Chrome Rookie Auto. Oh, mama. I mean, it looks, it looks centered. Yes! Let's go! Woo! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, baby. That's that's the star of the show so far. He gets his own. Get out of here, Gavin, for the time being. All right, you can go over here. That's fine. S step to the side, Gavin. It's all about the Acuna. Oh, mama! Oh, and here, I was talking about these earlier. All right, we got a Kobe. So take a gander at these and look at what these are going for. This is a biggie, you guys. I, I'm not expecting tents out of these. Like I said, these ones I just had to get uh, protected. But man, if this is a 10, this is a huge card. Come on, baby. Mamba. Oh, it's a nine. I'll take it. Dude, the nines on this are, they're still, they're still going for like a lot. I will, I will take that all day. I wonder why it's a nine. There, there might've been like, I don't know. There might've been something on the surface there. Potentially like rough cut on the top there. That might be the only thing. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'll take a nine. Some of them, you know, you'll just take a nine, like that one. Because those are hard to get tens. I, I haven't seen a lot of tens of those, but I haven't done a, a whole lot of looking. That's a pretty big one there, too. I, I always loved this card from the very beginning. I thought this was an awesome card. Pulled it out of a pack. I pulled both of these next two Kobe's out of packs back in 1996 or whatever. Oh, come on, baby. Yep. Yeah. I'm just looking for any flaws, and I don't, I don't see any. It's a nine. Take the nine. We'll take the nine because that is also a nice. That's a nice grade. Because a lot of these are raw. Oh, that's why. The tiniest on the back corner. Wow. He's got those Oakleys. Remember those Oakleys from back in the day? 96, you could go on the streets of Washington, D.C., and they, they were selling all the, the fake ones. Oh, I'm not going to retire. A lot of these are PCers, man, but like that one, that's a PCer. That was a gift. I'm not, I'm not selling that. At least not right now. I mean, maybe one day. You can't say never. 
Okay, let's look at this one. Two in a row, these are the only two, and everything looks sharp. Let's check the, oh! There's a couple of dingers up there, so this one might not get that great of a grade. Oh, it's still got a nine, yes! Wow, they didn't they didn't care about that. Maybe that's the only reason. I man, that that it totally looks like you could just go like that and it would be pushed down and gone. That's probably why I got a nine. Yeah, everybody had those Folkleys. Everybody who was cool had those Folkleys. This is what I was talking about earlier. The gold medallion. This has a lot of potential. If I could if I could somehow muster up a 10 out of these, I pulled this out of a pack back in the day. And it's been sitting in my collection for all these years. I don't know if that top corner is part of the design. It might be. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, it's way OC. Is it way OC? Doesn't. Well, I wonder what's wrong with it. Is this thing, is, if this box is supposed to, oh, that, yeah, okay. It's just a weird design, so it's kind of hard to tell where the centering is. Way OC. Must be, yeah. Oh, well. How about this one? Got two of those. That was the lowest grade so far. Does the does the centering look better on that one? Like you gotta kinda like there and there, right? Nope. These must have a problem with centering. Like in general. Or is it is the top to bottom? that far off maybe it is yeah pulled both of these out of packs though can you believe that all of these not not the bowman not the bowman best ones i didn't pull those out of packs but i did pull this out of the pack the hoops rookie after all these years got a nine on it I'll take it. Like I said about the Kobe's, didn't really expect 10s out of these. Don't expect a 10 out of that Jordan, but that's a beautiful Jordan. Let's check this one out. The Basketball Rookies, another one. Nine, out of a pack. I think that was out of a pack, or did I buy that one? Can't remember on that one, but I'll take a nine. All right, last but not least, this this could be a big one. The only problem on this card is that little thing right there, if you can see it. It's just a tiny little piece of white right there. That's the only thing I could see that was wrong with this card. So we'll see what they grade it down as. It's a biggie. Come on, baby. Eight and a half. Didn't know they did halves. Not too bad, because I got a good deal on this card. The Jordan 9596 Maximum Metal. Sorry, ABCDFG, had to ban you. Nothing personal. Had to ban you for life, because I don't understand your nonsense. And you're distracting. Okay, round two, box number two. That was great. Now we got a bunch of people in here. I'm gonna give you the second part of the password. So if you guys didn't go watch the Strikers Treasure Chest video, I'm giving away a huge box of cards. There's packs in there, there's individual cards, there's all kinds of good stuff. Go back and watch the video for the first word. It's a four word phrase you gotta get right and then email it to me at theonestriker@gmail.com. The second word, it's actually two words, because you'll see why, is the liberty. I don't want to have the as one of the passwords. So it's the liberty. Go back and find out what the first word of the phrase was. This is the second part. The third part will be in the next video that I come out with. Let's move on. 
Oh, it looks like I had some bombs here that didn't grade out. I wonder why. Let's check it out. Oh, is there another Bowman's Best? Did I not mark this one or something? You know, it's possible I messed some things up in the submission too. So let's find out about these. So these minimum size requirement, I wonder if this one I pulled out of a pack back in the day, this one I bought. So it's possible that someone trimmed this up or something, or I don't know. I wonder. Doesn't meet the minimum size requirement. That's odd. It's very odd. talking about maybe it is a I don't know maybe it is a tiny bit smaller or something I'm new to that I don't know how this one couldn't be I, I legitimately remember pulling this out of a pack so this came right right out of a pack into a case 97 98 that was not that one's not a huge one I think that was like a throw-in but okay Here we go. Fake can't be, the, the one Jordan can't be fake. The It says size requirement, so someone might have trimmed it or it might be a factory miscut or something. I don't know. But one of them I bought on eBay, so you never know with those. Okay, here we have a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Rookie card. It could a mess of things. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like, why, how could you mess with the thickness of it, though? I'll have to find out. I'll look into it a little bit more. A 10. Oh, this is the refractor. That's why I threw it in. Okay, cool. So it's the Bowman's Best, refractor, rookie, Vladdy. They're in the playoffs. You never know. All that has to happen, you guys, for some Blue Jays cards to go up in value is for them to make some noise in the playoffs. And it might be a short-term bump, but if Vladdy hits, like, anything can happen. These guys are so young that, let's say Vladdy bats 350 and cranks, like, half a dozen home runs. If, you know, maybe they make it a little ways. His rookie cards are just going to shoot through the roof again. He's so young, and so is Bo. So we got another 10. I got to clear these off. I'm leaving that Acuna up there. Box number two was not as good as box number one. We had some more nines, but this is a good start. Probably have quite a few Vladdies in here. What is this? Oh, I sent the Holiday in. Okay, I got the Vladdy Holiday Rookie. So, what does it cost? Yeah, dude, James, I hear you. I got confused too, so I just sent him into a third party guy and he took care of it. You gotta have a lot of trust. That's the thing. Because if you just send all your cards into somebody you don't know, uh, that can be kind of nerve wracking, but I bit the bullet and just sent it to somebody to do so I didn't have to deal with it. It's a nine. I wonder why that's a nine. Oh, look, there's a, like a little extra piece of fluff on the edge there. I could have taken care of that before I had submitted it. Oh. Yeah, yep. The extra piece. I could have just gone like that and it would have came off of there. That would have been a 10. So, you know, you can resubmit if you need to. But that was, that's not a huge card, I don't think. All right. Oh, we're getting into the biggies. Oh, oh my, dude, that card could be. Okay. First, it's Wander. First, it's Wander. What's up, Brett? All right, we got to wander first. Chrome. These ones, the only thing I was concerned about was the centering because I, I don't know, like the back looks centered, but then you go to the front 
in this one side always looks different than the top or bottom. But here we go. We'll find out right now. Oh, baby. It's a 10. Wander. Franco. Gem Mint 10. Bowman first. Loving that. Your local card shop does it. Yeah, that's yeah. you should do that. For your first one, maybe. You know, it, Once you kind of get to know what they're going to be graded, you can start doing it yourself if you wanted to. That's That was my plan. I just I wanted to know like my expectations versus reality before I started doing anything. I, mean, I don't have very many cards to send in now. I sent in 200, so that's a lot. Oh, okay. This is a big one. This is a biggie right here, guys. The Prism. The Tatis Prism. Rookie Chrome. Let's just take a gander. I don't see anything wrong with the corners. You shouldn't. It's a chrome. Hopefully, I didn't see any surface scratches or anything. Kind of tough to tell with all this nonsense going on, but the back. Flawless. This has got to be a 10, you guys. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes. Ho, 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 ho. Monster. It's a monster. It's not a numbered one or anything, but... I mean, just the regular ones are like a buck fifty. I don't know what that. I, I have no idea what that is worth, but it's got a one and a zero. So step aside, Vlad. We got a new sheriff in town. His name's Fernando. He's already reached the mountaintop. That glare is out of control. There we go. That's how it's done. Oh, regular chrome. I... What are we looking at here? We're looking good. Not sure about the centering. These are tough to know on the centering. But it looked, it looked good, and then the back looked good. So, come on, baby. Let's keep it up. 350? Yeah. Another 10. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Join Wander. Or should I just put him back there? I don't know. All right, now the sepia. Once again, should be a 10. Look at that jewel. Yeah, so I did say I wouldn't post the password in live streams. Because when I was doing that video, it was all just like a stream of consciousness. I didn't really plan out what I was going to say. And then afterwards, I realized that the, the live streams just get uploaded as videos when they're done anyway. Because I was thinking at the time, like, I don't want to just drop it during a stream and have only the people that were at the stream know about it. Then I, re then I remembered that the streams get uploaded, so it doesn't matter. So that's my thought on that. So this will be available for everybody. It'll upload immediately. All right. We got we got to go with this. Come on, come on. It's an important one, very important one right here. Yes, another ten. Look at that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh man, am I excited? All right. Next up, we got another Tatis. Okay. This one is a finest. 2019 Tops Finest. I have a few of these because I bought a case. Tops Finest case. So I got, I think, three Tatises out of there. Maybe four. Can't remember. But it should be gems, man. These, these, are, these are just great cards thick that's what i'm talking about tens boom 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 just set him there too many tens not enough stands another one real quick hello 
That'll do. How about another one? Right out of the pack. Yep. You got his finest auto. Ooh, that's an excellent one. Yeah, I I would have loved to get a... I didn't get any good autos out of my top's finest case. Another 10. Three for three. The way I thought it would be. Three for three. Okay, now we're getting into some goodies. We got the hot box. Hot box Tatis. That is a beautiful card. Check that one out, guys. Look at that jewel. Looking for damage. Don't see any damage. Uh, centering looks... If anything, just a, just a touch off. It's a jump, baby! Boom! Centering can be just a tick off. And it doesn't matter. Hot box. Purple. That is one beautiful card. I love that card. Love it. Okay, the chrome. Is that a refractor too? It is. This is the chrome refractor, you guys. This has got big potential too, right here. The Tatis chrome refractor from 2019, rookie. Big card. Big card, baby. You had the Tati you had a Chrome Tatis Auto PSA 10 sold for 365. Yeah, that happens, D. You know? People's financial situations vary and they change and, and the price of cards go up and down. If you want to stay in the game, you gotta sell some cards from time to time. So don't beat yourself up, man. Here we go. Come on. It's a big one. Chrome refractor. It's a tune! It should be. Oh man, do I love that card. Check that out. Cool. See it shine? Yeah. Can you see the rainbow? Whew. Oh baby. The Tati Show. Let's keep it going. We got some regular rookies here. Series 2 rookies. These ones I was a, a little... A little questioning you know a lot of these flagship cards have can have a little bit of like dimpling on the surface and i i don't know like i, I think maybe one of these might have had them in we'll find out that one's a nine i didn't see anything oh a -ta. look at how cheap that is look at that. just a little bit on that corner i think it's gotta be and it just looks like a little bit of extra that's a different corner. So a little extra on that and just the the soft, the slightest bit of softness. All right. These ones are a little tougher. Flagship's a little bit tougher. Series two, as, a, as opposed to the chrome. Is there something, what is that? Looks like there's something there. That's a nine, yeah, I guess there is. Anything wrong? All right, another nine. We're going back to Wander. Yeah, those will be. Yeah, those are tough. I'd like to get one. One, one nice ten. Another Wander. Same dilemma as the first. Is it centered? That's the question. Corners are sharp. Everything else is glorious. We got a, a little, maybe a little extra, but you can't really, you can't even really see that. It's a ten. Yes. So the Wanders, two for two on the Wander 10s. Ecstatic about that. And I'm, I'm so glad I sent these Eloys in because at the time, his stock was a little bit low, but man, he's looking really good. He's looking really good. So this is the Sepia. Looking for a gem here. Should be an easy gem. It is. Let's go, baby. Any Eloy fans? Yeah, I did, Jack. You can you can rewind it uh, just a few minutes ago. I'm not gonna tell anybody because I think that would wouldn't be fair. You gotta actually watch it and find out for yourself. Bam, baby. 
sepia. Pulled this one. I, I pulled most of these, but like I was just getting the Aloy hits. Got the purple. Once again, should be a gem. It is. That's a nice one. That's a big one to $2.99. The pink, these ones aren't numbered. It was in between boxes, Jack. The pink, unnumbered. Bam. Another 10. The 10s are flowing like wine. And just for fun, the pink trout. What do you guys think? Let's, let's. Oh, we might have an issue in that top right corner. I don't recall that being there, but no, it's a 10. Maybe, oh, that's just a picture of the bush. That's why. A shiny picture of the bush up there. Okay, cool. Jumping. Mike Trout jumping. What an iconic card. I mean, I know it's not like his rookie or anything, but it's a sweet, a sweet picture, sweet photograph. Nothing wrong with having a gem mint parallel of Mike Trout on hand. The salmon trout, that's right, Coach Ruffy. Okay, no, no rejects in this pile. Got a Vladdy on the back. Looks like, what, 40 more cards maybe, or 40 more? Okay, now we're getting into, it looks like, some Series 2 stuff again. Some Vlad stuff. This is the SP, the no number, I believe, right? Yeah, the no number Vlad. So this is a pretty good card here. Um, I see the tiniest touch of white up there that leads me to believe that this will be a 9. But it's there's a chance it'll still be a 10 if everything else checks out. Yep, it's a 9. Okay. I'm on my game now. I, I, I know what it's going to be now almost every time. Still, a mint, no number, Vlad. Remember how tough these were to pull, you guys? These were... Well, I want to say... Maybe... What was it? God, I had I had the formula figured out. Every other jumbo box, I think, or one per three hobby boxes or something like that. So another nine. Not not I'm not bad. I'm not mad about it. Sort them up. No sir. Rob, what's up, man? All right, Tim. And everybody who gets the password right is going to be entered in to the to the randomizer. So I suspect there will be a bunch of people that get the password, and we'll take those people and then reward one person. This one's got to be a 10. It is. It's the high number, Vlad, 101. I think that was high number, right? Like it was a 100-card set, and then... Was it 101, 102, 103, 104 were, were the good rooks? We had those, I think it was in another pile. But anyway, another 10. Bang. Let's clear the deck. The stars of the show remain on the stage. Sepia Trout, Sepia Tatis, Prism Tatis, Acuna Auto. I need Roan Bear in here so he can see. Okay, keep him up there. All right, next up is a is a unique card. I haven't seen anybody else have. This is an insert in the Bowman Platinum, and it's a Vladdy rookie, the prolific power. So these are going to be hard. 
I, I figured it would be a hard grade because these cards are, it's a thin stock and it's really fragile with this rainbow foil, yellow foil type design, but all the corners look good. I pulled it personally out of a pack. I'm really hoping. Floyd fan, what up, man? Yeah, I don't know why they were using those restock stock X. It's possible that, that Dustin sent them in there, but probably not. Come on, baby. Need a big one. It's a nine. Why is it a nine? Because there's just the the slightest little, like, uh, I don't even know. Something going on up there. That's got to be why. Because the corners are sharp. It just looks like maybe like a, a cutting thing on the top, but it's, it's it looks pretty perfect. I don't even know what that's worth. I just, it's one of my favorite cards and I have a fond memory of pulling it. I think it was at the beach. I pulled this card at the beach. Who opens packs at a beach? This guy. It was a fun rip. Yeah, foil cards are, yeah, they're, they're rough. Oh, I did send in my gold Yordan. I'm so happy. I couldn't remember if I sent it in this one or the next one. That's a big one coming up, guys. So a regular old Allen and Ginter Vladdy. What do we think? Got to be a 10, right? It is. Got some Vladdies. Big hitter. How's it going, man? All right. So this one, the gold Yordan, pulled it out of a pack. Hoping... To get a good grade, oh, the only thing I see is on the back a little bit of white there. Oh, there's a touch of white. So, yeah, it's probably going to be a nine. It's a nine. Mint. Mint card. I just, I like this card because it's a cup card. And the goldish, obviously. I, I, I think it just goes well with the orange, too. And his complexion. It's just like the triple, the triple threat. Got a nine out of her. Not bad. Beach breaking. That's right, Shy City. Oh, uh, <laughs> what beach was it? It was Lake Minnewana. Lake Minnewana in Metamora, Michigan. Okay, this is this is a regular series two. Still looking for a gem. Got two nines so far. Another nine. Yep, I could tell right off the bat because there's a little. It's just a touch soft up there. Look, the tiniest bit of white. It's amazing. It almost looks like you could just go like that. Be fine. I might not have like prepped the cards good enough. I didn't really do anything. I just kind of took a little microfiber cloth and like wiped, lightly wiped the surface if there's any dust or whatever on there. And I didn't use gloves to pack them. From now on, I'm going to use gloves when I'm putting them in the sleeves and stuff for sending away to get graded. All right, now here's a unique one. This is the All-Star Game one. It's the All-Star Game version of the Series 2 limited production. I don't know how many of these are. there are. Um, I don't know. This is the only one I have. Oh, it got a 10. Yes. Oh, man. I love that. I don't need, like, I don't know if there are any comps. There's got to be comps of this, but. Boom. Another one. Another stand worthy one. Okay, now we're getting into these are the factory Tatis rookies, the complete set. And I like these ones better than these. They're not worth as much, I don't think. But I, I like the action pose here better. I like I, I like how his, his jersey's all dirty and that it's a regular card instead of a horizontal card. That's why I like these ones better. But that's just my preference. Let's see what we got. I got a few of these. We got a 10. Hopefully they grade out good. There's one. Ron, how's it going, buddy? 
Dragon says, I need a Lake Huron break looking toward Canada and Port Huron. Yeah, I could. I don't go to the Great Lakes very often. Um, definitely need to. Obviously didn't do a lot of that this summer, which was a real bummer. But next summer, I'm going to take the fam to the Great Lakes. And we'll, maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll try to hit up a few of them. It's just cold. It's not that fun to swim in cold water. I, I don't like cold water. I prefer warm water. Tatis not bunting. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a 10. Two for two on the white jersey 10s. Loving it. Time for the bow show. All right, now these ones should grade out, man. They were right out of the pack. I'm expecting 10s on all of these. There's one. How about an archives, Pete? So I did send some Pete's in too. And they didn't make the playoffs. That's not good. He didn't have a great year, but he did finish pretty strong in the home run category. I think he finished with 15 home runs. So Pete's not my guy. I, I do like him a lot as far as like a baseball player, but he's not a PC guy for me at this point. That's a 10. Should be. These should all be 10s. These Pete's. If they're not, then it's like, uh oh. How about this one? The Allen and Ginter. Another gem. Oh, maybe. Maybe, Floyd fan. I like it. I like that. This is the... Okay, this is the 150 stamp. I got this out of a pack. Out of all the... Out of all this, the Series 2 that I opened, this is the best stamp that I got. I got a Keston 150 stamp, and I got the Pete Rookie 150 stamp. This one, I didn't know if it would get a 10. It did. Yes. Loving it. Loving that. I told you the Pete's are going to grade out. I didn't send any Aquinos, Brandon. Did not send any Aquinos. I don't really have any good ones to send. I didn't want to send any base. I've got one green Aquino, but it's not, I don't know if it's even numbered. Regular Pete Rookie, Series 2 flagship. It's a gem. Let's go. Let's go. My Pete's were all in good condition. They were all looking great. There's another one. Another 10. Yeah! You got the Tatis 150? Um, I might have that too, dude. I think I do, but I didn't send it in. Or maybe I did. But I'm pretty sure I have that card. If not two of them. I have two of them. I might have sold one. So maybe I only have one, but you get it. Yeah, let's revisit this. No, that is not the high enough. So I think it was only the Vladdy, maybe, was 101 on, in the top's finest. So it was like a SP. There we go. The finest. They are, they the quality control on the finest is some of the best in the industry, I believe. You, you rarely see anything wrong with top's finest. The new stuff. Another one. Let's get it over with. It's another gem. The rate is is looking pretty good so far. Got the gold bow, yeah. And then your your Lou Bob, or no, big league SPs. Another Pete. Another ten. Yes, it is. And we got two left here in this stack, and then one more box. So this is the Chrome Pete. Similar pose as the finest. Should be a gem. It is. Yes, loving it. Last but not least, the no number Vlad, looking at the corners. Check, check, 
Check, check, should be a 10. Come on, baby. Series two, no number, everything checking out. Everything's looking good. Want it to be a 10, because I only have a couple of these. Oh, it's a nine. Why? Is it because of that tiny little speck up there? Must be. Man, you could have fooled me. Like, that is so insignificant. Oh. Oh. Gotta have some nines in the mix, though. The highs and the lows, the yin and the yang. Such is life. A 10 wouldn't feel so good without a few nines thrown in there. Last box. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'm really happy you guys are here. This is making this a lot funner because I was gonna just upload this video, but it wouldn't be nearly as fun. Might be centering on that one. Oh yeah, good call. Might be. I have a problem with the, with the two-sided one centering them. I'm just, I don't know, my eye's not up to the standard that I need it to be for that. Okay. You guys know who that is. Yep, yeah, bottom strip looked a little thin indeed. I think the other one was a 10, if there was another one. Okay, so this is the Luis Robert Prospect. This is from... Bowman Chrome. Is it draft though? Or whatever. 106 of 125. It's numbered and it's Luis Robert, so I figured, hey, it's a 10. The Aqua Refractor. Bowman Chrome. Yeah, just it must be just regular Bowman Chrome. Yeah, what a beauty. I love that one. Look at that. Loving it. Yeah, the Vlad Jr. no numbers are really tough, says history through cardboard. Yeah. That's why it's like, okay, nine will do. I mean, rather have a 10, but it's all right. I, don't, I just sent, like, I don't know who this even is or why I sent it in, but I think it's just like an auto. It was just checking the boxes. Auto, Bowman first, batter. Let's see if he's young. Eh, 22, young enough. Cub, second rounder. He was just checking the boxes. It's a 10. Bowman Chrome, Draft Picks Auto. Chase Strumpf. Let's go, Chase Strumpf. Make a name for yourself, buddy. Winding down. This has been a blast. So the Brett Beatty. Any Mets fans in the house? Are you guys excited for Brett Beatty? We got the Bowman First Refractor right here. The slow reveal. A nine? I'm shocked. Centering. Oh, the centering. Top to bottom centering. Look it. But it's just like it's just barely. That's why on the front it looks more significant than on, than on the back. On the back it's just like, all right, that's 60-40, 70-30 maybe, I don't know. At the, at the worst, 70-30, probably 60-40. And on the back you're supposed to be able to get away with 60-40. But nines are all right, I guess. In the chrome stuff, you kind of want a 10. Love this card. The Sky Blue. I did a series on this. If you guys want to go back at any time, if you're interested, the 2019 Bowman, I broke down the odds to get these unnumbered cards. And the, the Sky Blue, there are few of them than you would think. I can't remember that number, but that's why I bought this. It's a gem. Sky Blue Refract. I just thought it was a pretty card, too. I like the Sky Blues. Beautiful. Loving it. Okay. I have been missing this card so much. I've missed it. I've talked about it. Here it is. Laser. 
my laser rookie auto. Any Ace fans in the house? Beckett doesn't take forever, says not clickbait. That's why you like it. Yeah, didn't they just extend their guaranteed time though? Because it used to be a guarantee of like, was it 50 days or something like that? And they just made it to, they increased it to something, 80. I don't know, I can't remember. But hoping that it's centered enough and that there's no scratches or anything. My laser, it's a 10, yes! Oh yeah. There he is. Mm hmm. Remember when he tried to attack the whole team? I love him. I can't block the Acuna. We'll put him over here. Okay. The next Boba Shat, Will Smith called it last year. Doesn't make sense, but that was that was the progression. It's a refractor. It's numbered to 499. Will Smith rookie auto. Hoping to make some noise in the playoffs and the World Series, probably. It's got to be a 10. It's got to be. It's a 10, baby. Let's go. Beautiful card. Look at it. Ron Figg's guy, Will Smith. Yes. Okay, check this card out, you guys. I, I, I forgot I had this card, to be honest. I forgot this was in here. I forgot I owned this card. What a beauty. The return to greatness, Trout and Acuna. It's a gold. It's 50 out of 50. It's an eBay 101. A nice card. I don't know. It's just free music, man. You got to get your head out of the gutter if you think that's what it is. Just like techno music. It's a ton. Should be. Bam, baby. I mean, you got a gold Mike Trout. So it checks the boxes. It's got the GOAT. It's number to 50 gold. A beautiful card. And it has two players on it, and they're both awesome players. So check. That might be one of my favorite ones so far. Lowest numbered. I love the low numbered stuff. It's got to go on a on a little stand here. It's got to. Got a couple packs of 09 Bowman this weekend. You got the X Fractor Auto of a guy still in the league. No way. <laughs> All right, the Otani. Now. Okay, yes, that's what it is. It, I'm like, why did I throw it? It's the action. I don't know. Everybody's probably down on Otani right now because he's not done very well this year. But when I pulled it, I was really happy about it. It's a 10. I'm even happier now. So you can turn around next year and card might go up a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, this was when these were submitted. I was like, Otani's going to win the MVP this year. Not the best call I've ever made. But who knew? We got a gold. Got a gold Otani. This is the second year card. Nine of 50. Gotta be a gem. Boom. That's right. How about an Otani rookie? The Heritage. Heritage high number. Number 600. Just a few more cards left. This needs to be a 10. It is, yes. All right. Adding to the Otani Gem Mint rookie collection. Okay, so this one right here, it, the, the only reason that this is in here is because I got this card for a great deal. It's an orange. Like how often can you find an orange for a bargain? I don't know if it's going to be a 10. It is, though. Alex Kirillov. I mean, the Twins are the twins are loaded. So who knows if he's going to ever make an appearance. But he's a first-round pick. Big boy. Lefty. You know? I don't know. Just thought it was a cool card. Boom. 
The Vladdy no number graded, yes. It, uh, it graded at a nine. And it, I mean, it's an, it's an awesome card, but it's a nine. This guy, Tirso Ornelas, it's just might as well send it in to get graded, right? It's a 10. I think it's just because this guy's young. It's not a first or anything, but I don't know. He's only 20, so 6'3 lefty. At the time I sent this in, I was thinking Padres need some lefties in their lineup, so maybe he'll maybe he'll make an appearance. It's a 10. That's right, Rob. Brandon says that Kirilloff will be worth it. Yeah, dude, I think I only paid like five bucks for it, which seems silly, but if you can get an orange prospect card for five bucks, just go ahead and buy that card because, I mean, unless they're like 28 years old or something, you've never sniffed the bigs. Joe Adele. Atomic. 128 to 150. When I sent this in, didn't know he was going to be making the show this year. It's a gem. Bam! Never, Rob. I would never burden PSA and their mountains of cards with a you-know-who rookie. Okay, Miguel Amaya. Checking boxes, batter, first, on-card auto, chrome, cub. Let's go. It's a 10. So most of the cards I thought would be 10s have been 10s. Got this Carter, orange, you know, true orange to 25, refractor, rookie. One of the lower, you know, it's it's tough pulling these cards. I pulled that out of a pack, so I want to send, it's gotta be a 10. Oh yeah, it's a 10, easy, easy. I was just telling you about oranges. Kirillov hit 348 in 2018. Will Clayton Claus ever get graded? No. Nope. Here's why. Cause I don't I don't want to seal that luck in. I want I want there to be just a little bit of you know a little opening for the luck to ooze out of. So I'm not gonna get him graded. <laughs> I pulled this out of a pack too. The Tim Tebow first to 250. There are a lot of Tim Tebow fans, so. Let's, you know, let's just see. See what happens. How about a 10? 122 out of 250. Loving it. Yeah, Kibum needs to step it up. He does. He does. He's got time, though. He's He's got one more year to prove himself. I like that one. Winding down. There's only a few left. There's only a few left. Can't believe it. Ronaldo Hernandez, Bowman first auto, just checking those boxes that we always like to check. And it's a good team, Tampa Bay. They do really nice with their prospect research. Easy 10, easy 10. I don't know if you saw that. Story Ruiz is a 10. Got the perp, 103 at 250. So he's pretty young, second baseman. I don't know. I like it. I had, you know, I didn't, I don't have very many good autos that I just got out of packs, you know. So the ones that I did have that were that checked those special boxes, I, I sent them away. Moises Gomez, first auto. Should be another 10. It is. You have that Trout Aaron Bowman card to 99? Or is it like that, you mean? The tops? Tops Chrome? Okay, last but not least. I was looking for this card the other day. I'm glad that I sent it away. Here it is, Kyle Tucker. Making noise. Turning out to be a really nice player. 
Refractor Auto, the Bowman Rookie. Everybody knows that the Bowman Rookie Autos are tough to pull, the on-card chrome autos. It's a gem, baby. Let's go. Woo! Any Luis Matos? Not in this order. No siree, but man, I'm I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic about this. I don't know what the rate was. I'll find out and I'll report it during the next stream, but a high, a high gem rate. And the stars of the show, we got this gold. I don't even know what it's worth, but I just love it. I love the card. The Lou Bob 10. The laser rookie auto to 10. This this one right here, I love. I love. The Prism Refractor. I should have bought more of them at the time. It was so affordable, guys. I bought that before people thought Tatis was anything. Well, that's not exactly true. When when that came out, he was he was pretty good. This one though, it's gotta be the best. It's gotta be the best one. Another shout out to my man Rome Bear. The sepia, all the Tati stuff. This got a gem, which I, I'm I can't believe because it's it's tough. All of these series two ones have been tough for me. Loving it. The all-star game variation. Cost difference. Uh you don't there is no extra cost for getting a an autograph graded PSA. I think the only additional cost to get a graded card is if you just have a regular card and they need to authenticate it. Like if, say you get Kyle Tucker to sign this card and it's not authenticated, then it would be an additional charge. I believe that's how it works. What will the next break be? We'll have another break coming up soon. I don't know exactly what it'll be, but here's the, here's the agenda for the next few days, guys. Gonna be some, there's gonna be more. It's going to be more stuff. The final word of the password is going to be revealed in the next video. It's either going to be tomorrow or the next day, whenever, whatever day we're not going to do a break. Um, and then it'll be, I'm going to reveal the Strikers Sizzler box, which is a variety pack box that I've been working on. I've been getting some feedback from people trying to see the price range they like, what kind of cards they, they like, what kind of packs they want to see inserted in there. And it's going to be ready to go. I finally got all my 300 count boxes to get that taken care of. So the next video with the password will be tomorrow or the next day or sometime this week. And we're going to do a stream one of the days this week and just all kinds of great stuff coming your way. I'm glad you guys could join me. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all later.